Hey guys, welcome to this special Halloween episode of Outspoken. We are the boys of Outspoken. I know you missed us because we missed you. And we have a great episode just dealing with all kinds of Halloween stuff. And we brought our ex-boyfriends with us. Yes! <laughs> so sit back and relax and pull out a pumpkin. You know what part of my ex-boyfriend this was, girl? Oh, did you see that? So for this Halloween episode, we're going to be carving some pumpkins, and in the meantime, we will also be spilling some tea about our Halloween, like, horror date stories. Oh my god, my... As you can see, we decided to dress up today. Jeb is sort of a, you're kind of vampire? Lionel Richie vampire. <laughs> Lionel Richie <laughs> vampire. I'm like giving you, like, we ho Dracula tea. You look a Meets little El DeBarge after the drugs. Right. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ow. Ow. Uh, no, you look a little uh, Negan from The Walking Dead, but as oh, a vampire, yes. the leather. What did you just call me? Did you just call me the N word? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the other N word. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Negan. 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 Okay. Anyway. Anyway. I'm so uh, good. She's offended. <laughs> She's always offended. I'm offended with that outfit. I'm Latina and I don't approve. Oh, oh baby, oh. baby. Let me you're fucking uh -oh. culture This is culture Yeah, I was gonna say, weigh in. Uh, is Brian culturally appropriating? I'm not, I'm not, because you know what? The Aztecs were from African descent, okay. and that is where- Hey, Finn. There it is, so <laughs> that should not be appropriation. I am appropriation. Ooh. Well, technically, aren't we all from African descent? Exactly, so, so be quiet. <laughs> You're a unicorn, that's what exists. That's true, I have a very gay basic costume. I know I will not be the first or only gay guy dressed as a right. unicorn today, but... Uh, or just yeah. very gay. I'm just very gay, yeah, yes. And right. John is also going with, with his heritage of... <laughs> oh! <laughs> yes! Um, he, he decided to stay in the bear family. In the bear family. No, I'm just getting in touch with my roots. You know, in our community, I'm also considered a bear. Because right. I'm short and hairy. Also, I am part Filipino, and a, just a little drop of Chinese is in there, too. <laughs> I, so I, bet, I bet the viewers did not know that. My grandmother is a quarter Chinese. Okay. Mm -hmm. nice. So it's a little, you know, a little cum drop. <laughs> Oh, well, if that's how we indicate our race, you're probably 90% black, actually. So, oh, if we're judging by cum drops in you, then oh you're, my God, you're Ryan, more you're black you're than Chinese. Are so. you hearing all of this? Hey, you know, it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's what he said. I, I swear, I swear. Oh, I swear. Oh, you guys like Halloween? Did you like Halloween growing up? Or have you always been Halloween people? Some people love it, some people hate it. Well, you know, I love Halloween, but I didn't really have like store bought costumes, so I would have to be inventive and creative and like create something. So it was fun, but at the same time, it's like I did always want to like be that Power Ranger. Right. And I never was. I was like a ghost for like 12 years. I know, right? Yeah, right. No, you go through all the poor people costumes, like yeah. a ghost sheet mm -hmm. or, oh, now you're a, a pirate or. Yeah, you're... one day I wore like this trunks and like, oh, you're going to the beach. Right, right. I know. It's sad. <laughs> I have never given a flying bleep really? about my, no, I literally did never cared about the costumes. It's, I love trick or treating, Yeah. which I can't do anymore. Even Technically, like, I'm like five enough. foot tall. I know, so I'm, I'm like five foot tall, so I could get away with it if I cover my whole body and pretend like I'm a child and go mm -hmm. trick or treating, but I know that's a little creepy. But I, I love like staying home and watching movies. I don't like dressing up yeah. and going out. I know, that's, I'm boring. So. Well, you get older and it changes right. a little bit. No, but I was like that when I was little. The only reason why it was to get the candy yeah. girl, and me and my brother would make, make it like a goal to fill up pillowcases. Right. Mm. Okay. Oh, yeah. Gotcha. Definitely. But I, I, yeah, I love I love Halloween. Well, I have always loved uh, to dress up for Halloween. I wasn't too um, keen on the whole spirits and ghouls and goblins of it, you know, because right. I don't like that dark shot of things in my, <laughs> my space. But I did love Christian. Like, <laughs> Christian. Christian. That's, that's that deacon in her. Yeah. <laughs> or that deep. Yeah. Um, but I did love when I dressed up as um, like a naked pharaoh type of thing. When it rained at the Hollywood uh, parade, I was um, covered in nothing but gold paint and everything rinsed off. Ooh. But uh, I was looking really cute. Were you feeling yourself? I was feeling myself and so were other people. Yes. Yes. If you guys don't know, West Hollywood hosts one of the biggest Halloween carnivals. I don't know if it's in the world, but definitely in the country. It's an event. It's it an is. event. Thousands mm -hmm. and thousands. How many people come? So many like, yeah, very They enough. come in costumes. There's good costumes, bad costumes. Whole families come, and then it gets a little raunchier later in the night. Oh, but it's a huge festival. Yeah. It's it's kind of fun, but it's also kind a of a lot. 
It's also live. Yeah. Dallas has one as well. They have the Halloween block party. I think that's cute. It is cute. And the first one I ever went to, girl, I was just like, ooh, she's new in Dallas. You know, I was like maybe 18, 19. I was like, what am I going to be? I was like, girl, of course, an angel. A white angel. So I got these big ass wings. I see the pictures. <laughs> Little ass boxes. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to be like a ratchet angel. So I had like white Jordans and like some white shades. Oh. Mm. Yeah, and then, girl, I was just like, ha, ah, ah, ha, ah, ah. ha. <laughs> and you know, everyone's like, oh, excuse me, don't mind my fucking wings. They were such a headache. But the funny story is my friend at the time was a black angel. Oh, cute. And next thing you know, I guess we lost each other. He got upset with me because he felt like I ran off, which wasn't the case. And he was, so next thing you know, we meet up in the middle. He's like, why the fuck did you leave? I'm like, why the fuck are you yelling at me? So you oh, just see the so black, like black angel. Like, no fight angel. angel. No the crowd's just looking like, is this real? I'm like, just drunk and a mess. And, oh, my God. Girl, but what did you used to dress up as when you were a kid? Well, you know, I remember one time in elementary school, we used to do the Halloween parade. We used to just dress for all the costumes. I was raided from Mortal Kombat one year. Ooh, oh, that's yeah, the, the, the fancy store-bought one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, only poor Halloween I'm having is this year. <laughs> and then um, one time I was um, Sub Zero. Oh, that oh, was really rich. good. And and you really like Mortal Kombat. I, I yeah. still do. I really love Mortal Kombat. You know. You should be Sin. Sin 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 oh yeah. You should, you should be Kirby. Who's that? A fat oh, bucket. Kirby. I know which one Kirby. I, I will never be fucking Kirby. What the fuck? Kirby, Kirby like Jigglypuff Kirby. Yes. yes. <laughs> That's I'm in a lot of superhero characters, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was He Man one year, I think, and that was with like a cardboard shield because we had to make our own, you know. Right. I was Lionel from Thundercats. Y'all probably don't even know Thundercats. You probably weren't even born when Thundercats. Okay. You were born probably when Thundercats. No, I remember the reruns on Cartoon Network. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, but then when you grow up and then it's like, oh, you want to be something sexy because gay sad. guys are like girls as well. Or yes. you straight man, you want to be provocative, show off your body. Yes. So yeah. I definitely have my share of like, not like slutty, but like, girl, I'm definitely trying to show some legs, show some right. stomach. Mm -hmm. So I dress as a Native American, which I'm 35% thanks to Ancestry.com. Ding! <laughs> <laughs> so it's not, but that was fun. And then I've also dressed as like an Egyptian with my boyfriend who was also Egyptian. We she had like five of us that dressed up because I love our group that are like. I love when oh it was. One time I saw the, uh, in West Hollywood, I saw people in the Mario Kart. Mm -hmm. They had like cardboard boxes and they're like. That's cool. I saw things. them. Yeah, that's cool. cool. All it of was them. so it's, creepy. That's adorable. That's bad, Did you so. have a slutty face? Any of y'all like slutty costume? You know what I mean? Yeah. My, my Egyptian uh, pharaoh was a very slutty one. Yeah. Okay. Um, I did that two years in a row because it was so popular. Yeah. Um, so I'm sure you guys have some like crazy Halloween mm -hmm. stories or even worse, horror dating stories. I can't think of anything scarier than that. But let's carve some jack-o'-lanterns and spill the tea. Are you guys ready? I'm ready. What about cons? Let's see who can carve the best jack-o'-lantern. It's gonna be me. We'll see. Do you know how to carve jack-o'-lanterns? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've never carved a jack-o'-lantern before? I have carved many of jack-o'-lanterns. I okay. have carved a jack-o'-lantern, but I've never attempted to use the little tracing thingies to get it. It's been it. a long time, yeah. I've never used, like, actual tools. I usually use my teeth. Triangles. This is going to be a big mess. Stay tuned. Let's see what happens. <laughs> you know what? This is actually spooky. Oh my gosh, what a good Halloween story if, like, one of you cuts off your fingers. I know. Like, I feel like I am. I'm about to. Do we got workers coming? Right? Who am I soon? Oh, I like that. Disaster. Yay! Hey! Oh my good. god, I feel so bad. Just mutilating the pumpkin. Alright, sis, here's mine. Ooh. Messy. She's a messy one. Well, speaking of messy, who has a messy horror story about dating? Like a Halloween one? Oh if you have a Halloween one, I have a horrible Halloween one you want to hear. It's not even really funny. It's really depressing. Oh my God. <laughs> this is actually the one of the yeah. worst things that's ever happened to me, but let's talk about it. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Uh, no, it was just Halloween a few, many years ago, actually, I guess. Like I went as North Star from the X-Men, oh, which yes. if you don't know, he's like the first gay X-Men. Yes. But my costume was like a, um, um, like a wetsuit, so it was like so hot. So all night long I was out like sweating, miserable, 
dripping down my face. It was horrible. So I'm in the wetsuit. Uh, we go over to the guy's house that I'm dating, right? Uh -huh. Him and his roommates and all his friends. And long story short, my best friend ended up hooking up with my boyfriend on Halloween. And oh, I walked yeah. in on them. Oh, my God. You walked yeah. in on it, girl? Yo. Oh, my God. So that's my, that's not a funny story. So but I'm assuming your best friend's dead? I wish. Or... But no, no, I'm waiting Maybe for they're just trying to spook you. But anyway, it was a horrible night. My phone was dead. This is before there was like Uber and stuff. Right. So on top of my horrible night, my heart is broken. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so shame of it all. I had to do the walk of shame home in my hot, sweaty costume. So I had like pulled it down and was like, and I had nothing on underneath because it was just a wetsuit. So I have like, I'm walking all the way down Santa Monica Boulevard, like crying and sweaty and makeup running. Horrible night. Oh, no. Horrible night. So I stayed out of WeHo Halloween for quite a while after that because it was just terrible, terrible memories. But whatever. We don't, we don't want to sleep with your boyfriend. You know, you get you get all. I barely want to now. So. <laughs> 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 well, I actually have a horror story too. Um, Y'all heard me talk about this on Halloween, the first time I did drag. I was in a new relationship. We've been together like two and a half, three months. My friends wanted to go to the block party, the Halloween block party, and we had like three of us, four of us. So I was like, you know what, I'm down, but he was so against it. So it kind of made me insecure to do it. So I'm right. like, no, I'm not going to do it. Right. Fast forward Halloween night, last minute. My friend hit me up there like, hey, we're about to head out to the block party. You come in? I'm like, sure, did y'all dress up? I was like, you know what, fuck it. I'm going to let me throw on a little wig, a little two-piece. <laughs> <laughs> a little um, two-piece. Light me. Shake the tail feather. Uh -oh. So, you know, I went, I showed up, you know, I had a little, here's a picture here. This is what I was looking like. And so, I show up, my boyfriend at the time is not fucking having it, like, oh, so over me, is walking like 10 feet in front of me the whole night, oh my oh God. God. on Halloween, bitch, and then I just I was like, hey, I have to go, and my dad just like my friends, I told him, go ahead, I'm gonna stick with him and his friends, my boyfriend, five minutes, ten minutes after my friends left, I'm gonna head out soon, I have to go, my grandma told me I should be home, oh my, first of all, your boyfriend, he's 20, but he lives with his grandma. Fast forward, his friends are taking me home, and it's like 4 o'clock in the morning, and I have to take the biggest shit of my life. <laughs> oh my God. And you're wearing and, a skirt. And I'm wearing... Wait, girl, please don't. And about. when I say my fucking feet, I give it to women, because honestly, my feet were going fucking through. Uh, they were barking. Bitch, I get to that apartment, nobody answered the door. I'm banging, oh, no. I'm oh, banging, y'all, and I'm sweating, bitch. Uh -huh. And my phone's dead, of course, and like you said, there's no way of getting hold of anybody, no Ubers. Mm -hmm. You know what, let me go to my friend next door. Hopefully he's, uh, he's awake or he's home. It's like 4 o'clock in the morning. And mind you, I'm still in the dress, wig, so I'm walking in the street. Oh my god, the bitch dog is killing me, girl. Get in it, bitch. And then there's this light that comes behind me. There's a truck. Bright ass light on me, I'm like, fuck. And they're going hella slow, like, the next thing you know, I hear, hey, que paso? Oh. I'm like, fuck. They're right next to me. So I have my hair in front of my hair. And like, Some guys are like following you yeah, down the street in their to, truck. Yeah, and so they're like, hey, what's up? I was like, not much, leave me alone. <laughs> Bitch, I can't. Bucket, oh my god. I took my bitch. And once I saw him turn that corner, I fucking took off right in those hills. Like, ah, this was did back did in not. Texas, right? Oh, yeah. So it's not, quite, it's not quite West Hollywood walking right. around. I, mean, in no, I, was was scared. Scared. Right. I was scared. I run and I bang on the door. My my friend wait, you know, he opens the door all panicky. He's like, oh my god, what's up? I'm like, bitch, can I take a shit? <laughs> he lets me take some jig. Right? That's a good friend. I come, right? Yeah. I come out, he fixed me a sandwich, and then oh. five minutes later, his roommate that he was like living there at the time walks in with a friend, the straight guy, and he was like, oh my god, that's the girl we tried to pick up. His roommate his was the one that you that tried to pick y'all up, or that yes, was following you? Yes. You're fucking, it like, fucking oh like, I was like, what the fuck, y'all fucking scared me. He's like, oh my god, we had no idea, my bad. I'm like, uh, someone just puts it. Yeah. <laughs> yes! 
girl that night was a mess. Right. Oh, hey, just to yeah, find out, sorry, I, yeah, yeah. Uh, he didn't go home. He went to a party and made out with another guy. Your boyfriend? Yes. We have bad boyfriends on Halloween. Oh my god. Like, we, we, we better keep uh, Joseph and Randy in check I this know. year. They're not going yeah. anywhere. <laughs> well, I'm single. I just I can't. It's, it's too much. I've, never, I, I, I've only been in a relationship one time during Halloween. Nothing crazy really happened. I mean, but I don't have like a Halloween horror story with like a boyfriend of yeah. any sort. Surely you have a horrible dating story though. Bitch, was, dating has been a nightmare for me since day one. I don't know what to tell you. The scariest thing that I've ever done is probably bottom after eating McDonald's. Oh, oh girl, that is scary. That's, that's it was scary. scary. <laughs> Nothing happened, girl, thank God. Oh, that's not what Trey told me. Uh -huh. Oh, girl. Yeah. Uh, oh, he knows. <laughs> so she heard, girl? Girl. <laughs> they talk about her in 24 hours. Yeah, bro. I, I can't, girl. I fell asleep during sex one time. That was pretty crazy. How the best? You were in, you were being kind of penetrated and you fell asleep, girl? So I was really drunk, like always. And um, I, I had a gentleman call her over, you know, I was just, you know, hanging out with things. And we were making out and things and all that. And then I remember expelling myself. You know, like coming. Oh, <laughs> expelling myself. Like and you got you got in trouble at school and right, you got I, like, expelled. I remember like relieving myself of my of my secretions. Oh, and um, <laughs> that's cute. I fell asleep and then I woke up in a panic because I was like I remember what I was doing before I went to sleep. And then I get a text saying, oh, I hope you enjoyed your nap. Uh, so but I checked like my oh. wallet, my Fucking stuff, man. everything. Everything was attacked. But it was too embarrassing that I fucking went to sleep. Which means he was just a bad fuck. Yeah. That's pretty or much Or you were a big mess. Or, or you're <laughs> just fucked up. Look, that's the best time to get me, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's okay. the best. Did you guys ever do anything like scary like when you were kids? Like I, I was like obsessed with like I loved Ouija boards and like me and my friends would go to graveyards what and What the white do, world? I has. know, okay. What the white world? Oh no, I used to like go like ghost hunting. <laughs> no, <laughs> I love see things I like, like that, that kind of stuff. For, yeah, haunted stuff like fucking <laughs> bitches. I know. Oh no, did you make a mistake here? Or? Oh, oh. Let the, the shade begin, right? Well, well, I was thinking more of like your aesthetic. So. <laughs> <laughs> Mess. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going for a John's anal cavity. Oh, with that oh one. my god. <laughs> No, I'll be with twice. all those bits, look at that. I'll be nice with that one, then. Uh, uh, bro, trade wouldn't fuck with me no more. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, there's some someone, people like that. I was gonna say, you know, some yeah. balls. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's scary. Bro, why do you think Brad no, that's so much? That is oh, scary. Oh, that's pristine. Wait, can we talk about, like, the candy? Because that is key. Candy? I'm not gonna be that asshole that's getting now, too, please. Did anybody ever get that? Hello. I remember getting what kind pennies. Of country is that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. What kind of country yeah. shit is that? Bitch, oh, really? You never got? Yes, yeah. I got. I got pennies. I think pennies. I got an apple before. Bro, I got a tampon. No, oh. did not. Well, it was a heavy flow that day. No, but the ones that you see irritating was when we would go to like a really religious person's house, and then on their door they would say, "The we answer don't is the answer is God." Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't very mischievous. Mischievous? No, that is a lie and a half, girl. No, well, during during Halloween. During Halloween, I was, I was mostly. I you were a good kid. Um, I wasn't good. I was still sucking dick and shit, but. <laughs> <laughs> I was good. Okay, I'm not good. I just, you know, I just wasn't. A the bad regular kid stuff. Uh, <laughs> you know, know. sucking dick on the corner, you know, girl. Still sucking the down little kids' dicks in the back. But <laughs> oh, you, no. my, my peoples. But yes. I just wasn't. I just wasn't like about doing mischievous. I gotta say the word. I was about doing bad things. I was about doing bad things on Halloween. That was supposed to be a fun thing. Yeah. Like, but you know what I like to do? It? I like going to the carnivals at the church. Like the church throw like a Halloween carnival. And it used to be fun. Oh, that's cute. That's, you know, yeah, that's fun. <laughs> it is fun. The church carnival. Yeah. Okay, here's kind of another funny Halloween story. So I was in middle school actually, and I was dating this girl. Uh, yeah, I know. Yes. Uh, yes. No, okay. I had I had a girlfriend, I'm you, Brent. <laughs> and she was a great older than me, an older woman. And what was his name? Bitch, her name was <laughs> Alexis. <laughs> no, no, Alexis. Alexis Michelle. <laughs> Alexis no. Michelle. Okay, oh. so well, the reason we ended up breaking up was because I never wanted to do anything physical oh, with her. So. I wonder why. Yeah, <laughs> I was just like, I'm just seeing myself. I'm just, I'm just waiting for the right girl. Right. Mm. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm waiting. I'm saving myself for Britney Spears. Oh and my god, I use that experience. I used to be, I know. Oh, girl, I told my mother I was saving myself for Mariah Carey, girl. Listen no, this shit. one girl, I bet she could tap that now. We were in eighth grade and oh, she was like, shade. She's like, you know what, Jeff? I really like you. Do you think, you know, would you go out with me? I was like, girl, I really like Britney Spears, but you don't see us going out. <laughs> she like ran out the You road. broke her heart, Jeff. I wasn't thinking, I'm gay, girl, get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. But it turned out she was gay as well. Oh. So I'm like, Kristen, you could have told me, sis. We could have. We could have, like, bearded for each other for yeah, a while. Dude. Anyway, what I was saying was that girl that I dated, so she was like, we're going to go to this haunted house. It's so scary. Me and my friends and everything. I was like, okay, cool. I love haunted houses. I like right. scary stuff. So we go, and it's one of those, like, religious haunted houses. Oh, like, God. Like, where it's, like, everything's a message, and you're, yeah. like, preaching, like, all the way through, and then at the end, Jesus comes out and hugs everyone. Oh my I was like, this is not Halloween. It is. That's my nightmare. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> You're like, oh my god, this is really Halloween. I'm scared. Jesus. I know. I actually was scared because I didn't realize everyone was like super, super Christian. I was like, we're going to a haunted house. I thought, you know. And everyone and all her peers and they're all into it and then she's telling us her church group and I'm like, okay. I mean, not that I have anything against like that, that, but so I just felt like, oh, I'm going to go to a haunted house and Halloween and it was just a little awkward. So you were, you were disappointed? Of course. Yeah, of course I was disappointed. I wanted to see Freddy Krueger, not Jesus. Wait, what is the, the one horror movie that really like haunted you guys as a child? The original oh It was pretty scary. That was There's a so lot scary. of them. Uh, it was really scary. Have y'all seen Mrs. Doubtfire? Oh. You're so stupid. <laughs> Oh, I'll fish it. Mine was, I, I was hands down afraid of the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. Oh my yeah. god. When I was really little, I couldn't even like watch the commercials for Nightmare. Oh. What? Nothing. <gasps> what happened there, dear? It's okay. Fixable. Is it? Fixable. It's fixable. Everything's fixable. Uh, you know, I like watching the Nightmare it. Before Christmas. That's always good. Right? You don't oh, that's fine. Me, I like the Leprechaun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Like, now they're like hilarious. Now there's oh, the there is. Leprechaun oh, in the hood. Oh, leprechaun God. in space. Leprechaun in Weho. <laughs> I was really scared of Girl, Candyman. Get that. Candyman, Candy that movie, when I first saw oh, that yeah, movie yeah. as a kid, I could not sleep that whole night. And I was like tossing it. I couldn't sleep. Oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, that That movie really, that. That movie freaked me out. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, of course. I love the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. It's just so funny every time I meet some. It's a it's a Texas Chainsaw Massacre real? Because I'm from Texas. Yeah, right? no, I know. That's a question. I it is based off of an actual murder. Uh, right? Loosely based loosely off of yeah. a real murder. The real one was like a serial killer, Ed Gein, who lived in Wisconsin. There you go. And Psycho was also based off of him too. He was this guy, Psycho. creepy guy who lived by himself. Psycho was creepy. That sounds like my life, really. Yeah, just, I feel sometimes, you know? Obsessed with his mother well, and her approval. Who? <laughs> You know what, bitch? <laughs> like, Don't shit. worry, 90% of serial killers are white guys, so I think you're okay. Yeah, well, you don't think you're white. white. Oh, you're a quarter white. Do you want to be white? Oh. Look here on the why I fuck I'm dumb, I don't get it. <laughs> but they you are. guys are so concentrated that like I need to do something to it. <laughs> if you feel that you're done. You're done. No, that's how you lose. I don't want to lose. Um well, since you got cheated, you can be like halfway cheat. in the middle. Now I'm using stencils and shit, I, and all that. I'm supposed to do. No, I'm using my brain and my creativity. Oh, no wonder you're done. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my oh. god, the shame! Oh, yes. You know what, matter of fact, let me make some paint. A girl is only one busted ass pumpkin gross. <laughs> no. You know what? Brian? <laughs> I'm sure it's good. No, mine is cute. Oh, Brian. <laughs> oh, look, yeah. <laughs> She tries. It's not she done yet. Girls. Oh. I think she trying. <laughs> she cute. She, you know, she just going through it. Yeah. You know, first time in drags. <laughs> oh. What are you ranking right now? That's what I'm saying. Oh. What? Oh no. Uh. We got the same. I've been noticing that already for a while that y'all were doing that. Yeah, you're I'm sneaky. <laughs> I even yes. Looked. Why did you tell us? So because between, I thought you both knew. It's between uh, John and I. Thank you. No. This Whatever. Ours can still be better than both of yours. <laughs> All right, guys, we're finally all finished, I think. For the most part, are you ready for the big reveal? Yep, I won. Okay. Oh. All right, actually. Okay, One ready? And... Yes. Ooh. Oh my gosh, y'all look so much better. My, yours look so good. No. Hi, I'm Trixie Mattel. <laughs> <laughs> 
out spook it. All right, guys. Well, it was really fun. We had a very similar idea. I didn't even notice that we were like halfway there. Like, this is a disqualification in my book, but we'll see. Oh, I had fun. Did you guys have fun carving pumpkins? Cool, bro. I've yeah. never carved That's using a stencil. Who? Who? All right, girl. We know you want to go. All right. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for checking out our special Halloween episode. I hope you guys have a really, really happy Halloween. Let us know what you thought. Let us know what you guys are doing, too. And maybe we'll see you at the West Hollywood Carnival. Until next time, guys. <laughs> I had to put that in there. Oh my God. Okay. Why can I not say this? I don't know. So we're gonna be carving some pumpkins and at the... Oh what the f***? Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, for this time... I don't really talk, girl. It's really hard for me. My look tonight is inspired by Nina Bonita Brown and Valentina. You guys, did you guys see it? You guys see yeah, it? absolutely. You guys are looking so happy to see it. Bitch, We've I saw it! it. <laughs> Jeff? You know, I just realized, I don't think I have any candles. Oh, for inside? Uh, Halloween is so much planning. I'm just here for the party. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a totally so different voice. accent now. I love that voice. <laughs> hey, are we related? I feel like I know you from somewhere. I fucked your mom. Oh! <laughs> 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 oh my god. That was very, he's a very vulgar little old man, huh? What was your guys' horror jobs? Oh, girl, Burger King. Oh, you worked at Burger, Burger King? King? I, I can't I, even see that. I cannot see it. But I just remember thinking to myself when I was working there, I was like, no. Don't worry, lots it's of celebrities not. start out at burger or like fast food jobs. Thanks. Yeah, that it makes me feel better. That yes. is the truth. Chad Michael Murray used to work at Taco Bell. Who's that? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and then he fired me. So, <laughs> bitch, how many times have you been fired? Oh, bitch, fired. <laughs> Girl, your pumpkin looks like. You should say it's Trixie Mattel. Yeah, Trixie Mattel. No. She wouldn't. She would live. She All would right. live. She didn't give me a drink ticket that night. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're still holding on to that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, a blue crayon, like a blue lipstick. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? I tried to give her a little pizzazz. Yeah. You know? Oh my gosh. Oh, that's so a drink. Girl, drink. yours looks like Aja before she perfected her makeup. Oh! Oh! oh. 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 oh.